A lot of people think that the hero's journey is about story structure. It's not. <laughs> hero's journey is a name that Joseph Campbell gave to a pattern that he and others before him recognized recurring in myths and religious stories. You might know the name Dan Harmon. He's a television creator. He created the TV show Community and the cartoon Rick and Morty. And he also created something called the Story Circle. The Story Circle was Harmon's attempt to pare the hero's journey down into a codified process for telling stories. You might also know the name Donald Miller. Donald Miller was an evangelical author who wrote progressive Christianity memoirs. But he later made a name for himself in the marketing industry. He took Joseph Campbell's hero's journey and, like Harmon, pared it down and simplified it into a process that could be used in marketing. So if the hero's journey refers to a pattern that we find recurring in mythology, why does it work so well for storytelling and marketing? I'm glad you asked. I think it works so well because the hero's journey represents a universal pattern found in our world. The hero's journey describes a pattern of life, death, and rebirth. And we see that everywhere around us. When the seasons change, we go from fall to winter to spring, life to death to rebirth. Animals eat their prey and then they convert what they ate into caloric energy that is used later to give birth to new life. In our world, life lives on death, and that's what the hero's journey is all about. And so Harmon took that life, death, rebirth pattern and used it to figure out how to tell stories. Donald Miller took the life, death, rebirth pattern and used it to figure out marketing. But Joseph Campbell wasn't really concerned about storytelling or marketing, it doesn't seem. He was trying to explain to us the process of personal development, of growth, of psycho-spiritual rebirth. I've been reading Campbell for years, and reading his stuff led me to other authors who talked about spiritual growth and personal development, and I can't find anyone who has done for that topic what Harmon did for storytelling and what Miller did for marketing. Nobody has taken the hero's journey and pared it down into an easy-to-use process for growth which is unfortunate because ultimately I think that's what Campbell was trying to talk about, how to grow as a person, how to become a better, higher you. And so that's what I've decided I'm going to do. I'm going to take the hero's journey and I'm going to pare it down into an easy to use process for personal growth, for becoming the best version of you. And I'm going to do that on this channel. So if you're interested in watching this process, I invite you to subscribe. Every week, I'm going to release a video talking about what part of the hero's journey I'm working on. You can follow along. And if you're so inclined, you can try to apply what I'm talking about. I personally think Dan Harmon is a genius. His insights into the hero's journey and into storytelling have changed my life in a lot of ways. I'm not on the same ideological page as Donald Miller is, but I think he clearly has important insights into the hero's journey and how it works in life. Despite the title of this video, I'm not throwing shade at either of those men. I want to use them as an inspiration to take the hero's journey and use it in a way that I think Campbell would 100% endorse. I hope you'll come along for the ride.